phrases, I just can't bloody believe it. Who are you? What? Uh, <clears throat> of, of course, her sister. I completely forgot. I... I guess I should be lenient with her. Here, I think I owe you this for your time. Now, excuse me. We have a lot to do here. Malfas's blessings. It sounds absurd. I don't believe I know. The mercenary, he might not be the shining knight of Castle Star Sound, but he's better than most of your men. I want him, and you will need to convince your true Chesser of it. Is that so? Very well, I will convince her. You will hear from me. I hope so. Prophetess, good to see you. How do you feel? Oh, what? So little confidence in yourself. I knew you would pass. If I had doubted your abilities, even to the slightest, I would have never spoken out for you. In any case, all that is left to do now is to recite the oath. Then we will finally deal with the more urgent matters. None of it, you'll see. The ceremony needs a little preparation. Even if it hurts to lose more time, the cleansing approaches, I can feel it. Just this night I had another of the dreams. People I knew, including you. But these people weren't themselves. There was something else, and it spoke through them. I believe that these beings are connected to the cycle. They must be the ones who cause it. You did? That is interesting. It must be related to our roles as emissaries. Maybe there is a connection between us. None. Maybe they are demons or magical entities of some kind, but they are different from everything I know. In any case, if they are indeed responsible for the cycle, they are our enemies. That's what matters for now. Come back tomorrow for the ceremony.
Yes. Why do you ask? In an old temple in the northern mountains of Nerim. It was a bastion of our order before Narazul's armies conquered it after the Battle of Triomar. Ironic, I know. They did. What are you getting at? A fair point. But in the future, just be upfront. I do not like such veiled remarks. So, yes, my time in the prison was harsh. The hunger, the degradation, to name the most obvious. The worst, however, was the isolation. Ironically enough, that was the last thing I had expected, you know. From all the suffering there is, it seems so banal. But it isn't. You either find ways to cope with it, or it breaks you. Fortunately, I managed to do the former. For me, it was memories of the time before my incarceration, the prospect of what would come after it. They were my window into the outer world, so to speak. They reminded me that I was more than this deprived creature I had become in those dungeons. Hmm, strange. Everything seemed too bright, too unreal. I especially felt that in the cloister with Narazul's mages. I had difficulty talking to other people, and whenever I did, it felt as if the others were like wax figures. Like some cruel joke put in front of my eyes in order to mock me. Better, our mission, my responsibility here as a leader, it has helped me to find my way back into the real world. <laughs> what would have been the alternative? A life as a fisherman? In fact, this is precisely what is missing in the world. People who do not let the whims of fate break their resolve. Now, enough of this. We have business to attend to. Wherever you look, where is this supposed to lead? and maniac minds they roam across the land no. spreading terror and despair glimmer at the horizon thy name is my sacrament and thy heart well met
That's very generous of you. Thank you. Safe travels. And may his light guide you. This is holy ground, Outlander. You don't belong here. Watch yourself. The streets aren't safe this time of the day. My dame. Walk blessed. Madame? Yes? I'm Obulus, my dame. Please. Yes? Yes? Farewell. Ah, there you are. Glad you made it. So, how was it? I heard quite some stories about this trial, and was never sure what to make of it. Yeah, I changed my mind. Come, let's go upstairs. It'll be worth it.
So, wine or pipe? Chilean sweet water tobacco. A hundred times better than what they smoke here. Consider it a congratulatory gift for passing the trial. <sighs> Nothing better than a good pipe and a nice sight to go along with it. It's always sad to see how few people can truly appreciate these things. Anyway, tell me, fair lady, what is it that drives you? I've been asking that myself since we met. I mean, it's not like anyone's forcing you to play errand boy for Arenthiel, is there? And with your abilities, you can make a fortune as a mercenary. Not to mention the danger you put yourself in. Securing the excavation site, passing the trial, they certainly haven't been easy on you so far. Huh, I figure. In any case, it's interesting to see how you've gotten from being a magically gifted refugee to the center of all this. Kind of reminds me of a woman I used to travel with. Alicia. No matter where she went, she always ended up in the eye of the storm. We got hired for the same job. Usually I work better on my own, but this partnership was refreshing. In every aspect. It felt good to know someone's got your back for a change. Especially with the kind of work I do. Which is why we decided to stick together after that first job. And it went great. At least initially. She just cared too much, you know? Yeah, she was a mercenary, but she only ever picked the jobs where she thought she could help people. Or at least do no damage. As you can imagine, that doesn't always work out in my profession. And whenever it didn't, she really took it to heart. It was sad, if you think about it, really. Oh, several reasons. First of all, she was primarily a traveling healer, and used the money she got from those jobs to sustain herself. Secondly, Lycia wasn't all selflessness. She wanted to help people, yeah, but she also wanted to make experiences, I guess. Live like an eagle, love like a madman, and dream like a god. A bit cheesy, yeah, but that was her credo. Well, we were simply too different. I, I guess that's what it comes down to. Let's face it, I, I'm a pathetic white knight, and an even worse world savior. Lysia and I, we were just bound to clash. We were lovers, then friends, then lovers again, and so on and so forth. Ultimately, that was just too much for me, too extreme, too absorbing. Split up. Yeah, that's one way to put it. But anyway, enough about me. What about you? Has there ever been someone in your life? Or have you always been the lone wolf? Really? That surprises me. I, for one, have had enough drama to last me a lifetime. Sex is fine, but I guess I'm just not naive enough for anything else anymore. <sighs> love, love, love. People have such wrong-headed expectations, really. Sometimes I think it would help us all to finally admit that there isn't that much that separates us from the apes. Anyway, why don't you tell me a little more about this trial? I heard you passed it together with that quiet girl, Kalia. <laughs> what, you mean the living dead, the Watiers everywhere, the frenzied civilians? I'd say this country's seen better times. But at least something happens, it makes this place less boring. Hmm, that's just life, I think. There comes a point when you've done all you can. <sighs> my, my. We've certainly lost track of time, haven't we? I really need to hit the hay for a couple hours now. I'll have to go look for some new work tomorrow. And I've heard about a nobleman who's looking for a sellsword. That is, if a rentheal or old Bushybeard doesn't have a new job for me by then. Say what you want about them. Their pay is beyond generous. I'll see you around, fair lady.
Finally. Come with me. As you wish. There. Climb the stairs. Go to the statue and speak with the Grand Master. No idle talking, no stupid gazing, all right? Very well. The entire third and fourth sigils are gathered in there, so show some respect. And now, walk blessed, sister. It is time. Come forward, prophetess. I know what you are feeling. Mistrust. For it is the first time in the history of the Order that a stranger will receive the Holy Consecration. You consider it a treason against our Charter, and therefore against us all. And indeed, it is true that traditions have strengthened the Order. We have ruled this land for millennia, and for millennia we have prevailed. And I know that what happened two years ago has unsettled you. Yes, we are in a crisis. Yes, our foundation seems to be shattered. And now you believe that I profane even what little is left by consecrating a pathless one. But you are wrong. It was always people who have given strength to the Order. People like you and me. Yes, we did serve the Lightborn, but because they embodied an idea. The idea of peace through stability. And even now, after their demise, we will pursue this idea. We are facing a threat that endangers the world as we know it. And to fight it, we need one thing above all others. The readiness to make sacrifices for the greater good. This woman, like Novice Karish, has shown this readiness. She is talented and has a gift, and thus carries responsibility. But instead of running from this responsibility, she faced it, found us. She passed the holy trial just as we all did, and therefore she is worthy of joining our ranks. Consecrated ones, repeat my words. This is the day when my old me dies away, for today I receive the sigil. This is the day when my old me dies away, for today I receive the sigil. From now on I live to protect, by sword and mind, the path, my land, and those who are without strength. From now on I live to protect, by sword and mind, the path, my land, and those who are without strength. Until death absolves me from my duty. Until death absolves me from my duty. Thus, you are elevated to keepers of the first sigil. Rise. Now let us all recite the holy words. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor in life as in death. May, May your light your guide, me. guide me. Leave now, brothers and sisters, and rest. We will need our strength. Go and get your armor at the Temple's Forge. After that, meet me in the Emporium. There's news. Ranks. After a novice has passed the trial, he is raised into the first sigil, and over the course of years, if he proves to be worthy, into higher ranks, up to the fourth sigil, which is held by the Truchessa and the Grand Master, me. Of the first sigil, yes. Our masters will teach you, our smiths will equip you. Warg, blessed. Warg, blessed, prophetess.
and that's it. It feels strange. Yes, kind of. You know, for the past seven years, I have lived for this moment. And now I'm here. It's peculiar. Anyhow, let's talk when there's something new to talk about. Walk blessed, <sighs> sister. So expensive. Of course they have. You know how these bureaucrats are, but they will do it. Very good. Thanks for your efforts, my friend. Don't mention it. I... I just hope you know what you're doing. You know, many see the course the Order has taken since you came back as disquieting. Narazul's mate. So, you actually made it, Prodigy. Congratulations. Even though I'm not sure everyone is as glad about that as the Grand Master. Prophetess. Now, if it isn't the notorious prodigy. Ah, right. The highly debated new keeper. You suddenly have caused some uproar. I'll give you that. Fine, here you go. And no matter what you think of all this, wearing this armor is an honor. Get that into your head. Most of us had to wait decades for it. Walk blessed. Ah. Prophetess, did you find your way around? Good. It is important that you get adjusted to this place. It will be the base of all operations to come. Right now, we are still in the dark as to the true nature of this cycle. All we have are fragments, but we will change that. There are two trails we have found. 
I want you to go after both of them. The first one has to do with the stone fragments from old Rationgrad. Pegast has not yet told you, but all of them together form a so-called sigil stone, which we urgently need. The Arcanists have already put it together, but we still lack a part of the ritual to activate it. And for that, we need the memory of a dead person. The second trail revolves around a discovery we made in the heartland. It could be a significant, if not the only, prospect we have in this fight. Where do you want to start? It's simple. I've told you that the Pyrenees knew about the cycle, and that they too battled it before they vanished. The Sigil Stone was a magical defense they created to protect themselves from the Red Madness. Through small fragments that segregate once a certain ritual is performed on it. Wear one of these fragments and it will serve you like a shield for your spirit. The stone won't produce enough for all citizens of Ark, but enough for all of us keepers and the guard. The problem is that we lack knowledge about this ritual, and those who have it have been dead for millennia. Correct. The entire plan revolves around a discovery which is exhibited in the Chronicum. The frozen corpse of a Pyrian, which a fisherman found adrift in the Northern Sea some years ago. Yes, the ice prevented his body from decaying. But go to the Chronicum and speak to Archmagister Marigil. He will be able to explain it better than I can. Hmm? So what's so spectacular about this? To me, our pal here looks like your average crypt corpse. Well, he isn't. Do you see this marking on his forehead? That's a symbol of the Ischian, one of the two priest castes who reigned over the Pyrian Empire like the Lightborn did over Vin. He was no high priest, but more than an acolyte. Let's just hope he participated in the manufacture of the Sigil Stone back in the Pyrian era. Well, hoping can't hurt. But look, we have company. Magister, how's the situation? Walk blessed, Grandmaster. We're fine. Uh, everything is ready. So this is her? Yes, this is the prophetess. Hmm. Interesting. Truly interesting. I imagined you to be... different. I'm Lexiel Marigil, Archmagister of the Holy Order. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, where do we start? Has the Grandmaster already informed you of the goal of this mission? Correct. Now you're wondering, how will this be possible? This is where the Word of the Dead comes into play. An old relic we'll need to find. The Word of the Dead? I thought that was a legend. No, it exists. And we also know where. Just so you understand, the Word of the Dead is an artifact that allows entering a deceased person's mind to relive his last memories as if they were your own. And you want to do just that with our frozen pal here? This is the grand plan, right? Right. You'll need to locate the Word of the Dead, teleport the Pyrian's body to you, and then enter his thoughts. 
and there you'll have to look for the words of the ritual. That's right, but the priest himself did, and according to the legend, this should allow you to understand. Well, this is... There's an old manor in Andral's West that belongs to an old collector of artifacts. We received a tip that the word of the dead is in his possession. Hang on. Are you talking about this odd fellow with the puppets? The aged man from the folk song? I am. You won't take it. It will be enough to find it. Use it on the Pyrean and then leave. You will travel to the manor with Dalvarek, wait for nightfall, and then introduce yourself to the aged man as a fellow collector of artifacts. Then you will offer him this brooch, and if all goes well, he will offer you a quarter for the night to negotiate in the morning. Then it's all a matter of timing. Sneak out of your room, look for the word of the dead, and teleport the Pyrean to you. Then you'll flee. There must be no violence, no matter what happens. A good question, but no. The aged man is special, so to speak. Even the Lightborn ordered us to let him live in peace. The Black Guardian knows why. So, if we have to trick him, we will at least do it inconspicuously. No one will connect your faces to the Holy Order. Archmagister? Yes, well, that is a good point. We don't know, because we don't even know what the artifact looks like. But how goes the saying? The proof of the eating is in the pudding. We'll manage somehow. And even if we don't, it definitely sounds like an adventure. It's a great responsibility, be aware of that. But I have faith in both of you. Now get going as soon as you can. This mission will be fruitful. I can feel it. And there they go. Yep, just meet me at the Myrids Tower at the Western Cliff. I'll go grab my stuff now. Fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. 